Hello everybody, my name is Inez. Welcome to today's video. Today I want to speak to you about promotion and about being hidden at this time and then the great unveiling in your calling, in your destiny and what God has called you to do here on this earth. Okay, so if you looked at my last video, it was all about the calling, what God has called you for, what your purpose is here on this earth. So let's pray everybody. So Holy Spirit, I ask you to come right now and speak through me to your people in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you all. I love you all. I'm really excited about this message and I hope you are too because some answers will be given to you why you are in where you are for such a long time and you think that things aren't moving. You think that everything has been turned upside down when it actually hasn't because there's a purpose, there's a season, there is a time for everything in your journey in this life with the Lord. Okay, so everything happens for a reason. There is no co coincidences. Okay, once you are walking with the Lord and following him and doing what he's calling you to do and walking by faith, not by sight. And being obedient where he's telling you to go as well and who he's bringing you around are so important. Okay, so what God has put on my heart was hidden for such a time as this. You may have had a prophetic word, like myself, for such a long, long time, many, 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 many years. But things are about to change. Things are about to shift. This is all about preparation. It's all about training. It's all about pruning to get you to the right time, the right place where God unveils you where he, he puts you out there for what you've been called to do, all right? So there's always a time, there is always a season. This is also a time what God is saying is a promotion, all right? In the spirit, in the spirit realm, things are changing. So you need to be positive, you need to see, you need to keep moving, you need to be walking by faith and also encourage yourself in the Lord. Encourage yourself, look back at the prophetic words that you've been given and meditate on the word of God and declare and decree and speak, speak your future into existence. But also you can't sit back and expect God to do everything. You need to move as well. So this is all lining up with the last video that I put out. Okay, so it's all about moving, studying yourself approved. I spoke about that in the last video. Whatever it is, talents, gifts, whatever God has called you to do, make sure you're learning and studying and God will also bring divine connections. He'll bring you around the right people at the right time. He is also removing people who have been holding you back as well. Maybe you've been deceived, you've been around the wrong people as well and God is going to remove them. So sometimes when you think, oh, the person left me, or this happened, I'm all by myself, and you don't know why, there is a reason why, okay? So when doors shut, leave them shut. Don't force something open that has been shut, okay? So that could be people leaving you, that could be something has just blown up. Maybe you could have lost your job, and you're thinking, what am I going to do now? But did you really lose your job? Or was that God closing the door on this thing and removing certain people as well? Okay, so I'm going to talk about the scriptures that God has given me for this season. So he put Esther on my heart, okay? So it's all about promotion. It's all about favor. And we know that Esther was highly favored. You know about her story if you want to read that for yourself. So we'll go to um, Esther uh, chapter 2 verse 12. And it says, now when every maid's turn was come to go into the king of Saurus, after that she had been um, 12 months according to the manner of women. For so we were the days of the purification accomplished, six months with oil of more and six months with um, sweet odors and other things for the purifying of women. And then if you turn that around, okay, it can take a long time for some people to fulfill their destiny. We look at King David, it took almost 18 years and he went through such a lot 
He also messed up a lot, which is like us. We all make mistakes, but we thank God that we are under the grace of God. We are not under the law. So, Queen Esther, to come before the king, who was highly favoured, she was highly favoured. She had to be prepared. She had to go through all of these things. But like us with Jesus, he prunes us. He chops things back in our character. He removes people. He brings people to you. He stores you in the right direction. He directs your paths to get you to the place. And sometimes you think it's not fair. Um, why is it taking so long? Why is this happening to me? Why am I going through these things again? Why is it taking so long? But there's a reason for it. Maybe it's not the right time. Maybe you're pushing yourself forward ahead of God, which is totally wrong. Trying to force your destiny to happen when it's not the right time. Getting involved with the wrong people and then God has to try and get it all back in order then. Or if we've been doing the wrong things, it can take some time then to get back on track, okay? If you get me. So, as you've seen with Queen Esther, it took purifying, it took time so that she can be presentable and ready to stand before the king. So it took time. So you yourself, even this time of the lockdown, don't think it's a lockdown. Don't think life is over. Everything ends here. No. This has been an amazing time, a time of growth, a time of learning. There has been a lot of people looking at their lives, looking at their destiny. What have I been doing? I've been totally doing the wrong thing. I've been hanging around with the wrong people. I've been listening to the wrong voices. You know, also, there are going to be many voices in your life. The people that God brings around you, you know, you're not going to have 50 friends. You're not going to have 10 friends. There's going to be so little voices in your life that are going to encourage you, that are going to, God are going to use to propel you to the next stage, the next level of where you're supposed to be. But then also there's going to be voices who drag you down that are negative, that will push you, that will mock you, that will be critical, judgmental. God will remove these people, but he'll also strengthen you that you don't have to listen to these voices. There could be certain people in your life, okay? God has people in our lives. And it's happened with me over a long period of time. Being under certain people, being around people, loads of people have left. I've had to be taken away from people. I've had to be corrected myself. It's the way life is. So always, when these things happen, you keep going forward. You can't hold back. And it can be people... Uh, who you love the most will hurt you and try to hold you back because sometimes people don't like it when you're moving forward. When you're changing, maybe you look totally different. You're more joyful. You're more, you're more wonderful to be around because of the blessings that are happening in your life and where God has taken you, being favoured around certain people. And it can be friends. It can be family. It can be people in your ministry that will gossip about you. They'll tear you apart. They'll laugh at you. People will want to see your downfall. I have had all of this happen, especially from people who I've loved the most, have torn me down. And it also made me give up at certain times until the grace of God, thank you, Jesus, for Holy Spirit. He pushes you, you know, in a loving way to keep going. Because he knows that there's a purpose for you. But you see, you have to get up yourself and you have to move forward. So when there's promotion from God, when God is doing a new thing, don't cry over what's being taken away. Don't look back on somebody who's left you. And you might think they've been for you, but they haven't been. You know, it can be people in ministry. It can be people in your family. It can be friends. So this is these are the things that are the most difficult. But they're part of the journey. Okay, so sometimes they're not really the best ones to be around. You can love people, but you don't have to listen to the negative voices that are trying to pull you down, mock at you, laugh at you, not liking when you're blessed, or trying to criticize something good that's happening in your life, or your appearance. Okay, so just listen to the loving promptings of Holy Spirit. So also we know that um, the spirit gives life, 
okay? And when you hear something coming from someone that is negative that you love, you don't have to listen to it. You don't have to respond to it. Just love people as well from a distance. But you know that there's a destiny, that there's a calling on your life, so you keep going. And don't cry over something that wants to see your downfall or mocks at you or doesn't like when you're blessed. So you keep moving forward. So we've just like Esther, and you can imagine all of these other people, all these other ladies in the same position, you know, they're all being prepared, they're all waiting to see the king. Who's going to see the king? She gets picked out of these people. Say for an example, King David, before he was king, he was a shepherd boy and he was minding the sheep and all his brothers are big and they're, they're buff and they're the guys, you know, and Samuel's like, it's not any of these. Have you got anybody else? And then David, this little ruddy boy, runs in. Hey! And Samuel says, he's the one. Right in front of his brothers. In front of them. And this is how God elevates you. Right in front of people. Even, you wouldn't say they're your enemies. You know, like, like I said, there's people in your family, your friends, ministry, people around even who know you. Will see the hand of God on your life. When God promotes you, not you trying to push things to happen, when God promotes you, people will see and people will know that you are favoured by God and that this is what you're called to do. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that encouraging? So hidden for such a time as this. So if you have been waiting for a long time, don't be discouraged because the best is yet to come. And as well, it's not a prideful thing. It's not a vanity thing. It's nothing like that. This is why the whole prune, the training has been taken place in you, in your character, how you treat people, how you are. Are you obedient to the Lord when he tells you to do something? Are you studying yourself approved? Are you praying? Are you repenting when you're supposed to? So the power of association, that is very, very key here about the people in your life, the voices you are allowing in your life, the wisdom, the advice. You know, there's advice that's not from God. We, we see, like, um, with Peter and Jesus. And all of a sudden, you know, Jesus is like, Satan, I rebuke you. And a minute before that, then, he was just saying, oh, you're, you're blessed, you know. So there's negative voices and then there's a voice who will cord you, who will push you, who will stand with you. And it's not everybody. So you need to understand, okay, that you're not relying on people. You're not going, why are these people not with me? Why are they turning against me? Because people will. So this is exactly why you need to have that relationship with Holy Spirit, that you're strong in him, that he is your strength. So when this happens over here and this happens over here, you're like, no. I'm not falling for this, I'm keep going. I'm moving forward, I'm applying for this course, I'm applying for this new job, I'm walking through this door, I'm not looking back anymore. If these people don't wanna be with me, they're not encouraging me, well, I'm still gonna move forward. Simple as that, okay? Then we have Esther 414. So that was the power of association, the power of the people in your life. So just like Esther as well, and she had an amazing person behind her as well okay who was helping her and egging her on okay so who knows what all these other ladies were thinking were they jealous were they envious and you'll get these people in your life as well you know the ones who pretend to be there for you and then they're, they're ripping you apart gossiping about you behind your back but god will always show you these things so hidden that could be you right now so this is the message for today hidden for such a time as this until the great unveiling which is not long from now and then we have esther 4 14 and who knows whether you are come to the kingdom for such a time as this just when you think it's all over just when you think they've left this has happened i've lost my job my ministries, what's happening here? Oh my goodness, what's happening? I've lost all my finances. What am I going to do? Just when you think you're about to give up, just when you think it's all over, boom, that's when this suddenly comes along. When God just steps in and goes, hang on a second, walk through the star. And he brings amazing people um, into your life. Um, destiny. So I have written down here, just destiny killers. 
and there's those who encourage us as well those who help you you know there's there's people coming out also for a season these are not counted as enemies you know there's people who come into your life to help you for a certain moment and um, maybe to teach you a certain thing maybe to encourage you for a couple of weeks a few a few months or somebody for a year you understand what i'm saying in your life but then they leave so then you move on to the next step in your journey in life. So that's why you don't, don't hang on to people. Don't hang on to your pastor. Don't hang on to friends, family. This is what you need. It's not confidence. It's not you. It's the spirit of God. You need to have that closeness with him, that relationship with him. So you're like, thank you, Lord, for that person. Thank you, Lord, that person really blessed me at that season. I can't wait who I'm going to meet next or where I'm going to go next or join this course or take up this or, or start here. Or maybe move you to a new location. So um, then also we have Joseph. He was abandoned by his family. If, if you look at all these stories, it's all about how they got to their destination. How they got to their purpose. And a lot of the times, you know, we even look at Jesus. He had to take up the cross. He, he was rejected. He was hated. He was laughed at. He was spat on. He was beaten. The ones who he loved didn't even believe in him. And then you look at what happened then. And then we see Joseph, he ended up, the ones that abandoned him ended up bound down to him. And he was made ruler. He was made governor. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Praise the Lord. So this is an awesome time. This is a time where you should be excited because you know something is about to take place. So you can't be distracted at this time. You can't be sad over the past. You need to understand the best is yet to come. So you need to move forward, all right? And also at times, God can bring people who have been in your past to come back in to help you for, for anything, to propel you to the next stage or to help you with something. And that can happen. But God will always provide for you Whatever he has called you for, he will always provide for you. He will always help you. And you know it's God. You know it's not you because you can't do anything by yourself. Um, so in Ecclesiastes 3.1, for everything, there is a season, there is a time. Um, for every matter under heaven. You know, a lot of the times in life, if you've noticed, you'll go through seasons of tribulation. You'll go through hardships. You'll go through trauma, devastating times, betrayal, hurts. But you'll also mess up yourself. And that is why you thank God for his grace. But you keep moving forward. So if anything has happened along the way, you need to let go. You need to let God heal you in these areas. So it's all about training. It's all about our character. Um, and don't let the rejection of men inside of you, the bitterness, the anger, because it can kill you as well. And I shared a video on that before, many, many years ago. It was like boom, 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 boom. It was one thing after another, and I actually thought I was going to die with the amount of things that were happening to me, one after another, coming from all areas of my life. And I was thinking, I have no idea what is going on here. What is happening? But you need to move on. And it also draws you closer to God. It draws you closer to him. You know, it's, it's just amazing. But you understand my message at this time. The message from God. Hidden for such a time as this. Until the great revealing, unveiling of what you're here for. So whatever it is God has put on your heart. If it's to apply for something. If he's shown you that these people are not for you. Let them go. Let certain things go of the bad habits. The people you know are not right for you. You don't need to ask, is this person for me? Is this person? You know when someone's not for you. You know if you're listening to the wrong voice. There could be a distraction, you know, for from the wrong person. Partner as well that you're going out with. And it can be a distraction. Um, so then also we have Gideon in Judges 6.12. We know that Gideon was fearful. Gideon was there by himself and the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, The Lord is with you, mighty man of valor. The Lord is with you. And Gideon's like, Who, me? See, you have to see yourself 
the way God sees you. You can look and say, well, I've nothing. I'm only here. I'm not really educated in this area, but I'm not sure I'll be able to do this. So then I'll just sit at the back here. I used to be like this. I used to think, no, all you do that. I, I'm not great at this. You do it. And God's like, no, I'm telling you to do it. You do it. And this is where it happens, where other people then laugh at you. They mock at you. But this is where you can't look at all of these other things and listen to the negativity. Because what God sees in you, you mightn't see it yourself. Maybe somebody has said something to you before that went, hmm, I, maybe I might be good at this. And all the other negative voices then, but you yourself saying, well, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I can't, I won't. And uh, maybe this will happen. Then you're talking fear, just like Gideon, being fearful, being fearful of the fu future, fearful of this one and fearful of that one. What if I do this? I'm afraid to do this. So you have to remove that way of talking and you have to see yourself the way God sees you. So when he says, you are a child of the Most High God. You are my daughter. You are my son. And I think that was the start of me. Over 10 years ago, one of the first prophetic words that I got was, and it's just this one, I won't tell you the prophetic word, but when the person actually said to me, the Lord says, my daughter, that just, it was just that little small bit there that just, I'm, I'm Jesus' daughter. He calls me daughter, really? So that was the start of my journey, just understanding who I am to God. So you need to know your identity. Never mind what anybody else says. If people are not backing you, if your people in your family are not backing you, I mean, look at Jesus. Even his own family were questioning him. Didn't really, they weren't really sure. They were kind of pondering, is he? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Disciples left him loads of times. People will leave you. You need to understand that these things will happen. Okay, so in Isaiah 62, 3, you will be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You will be a crown. You are. You are precious to God. You are a child of God. You are favoured. You are blessed. You are loved by your father, God, Abba Father. So once you know these things, you're doing fine. And take each day, don't force your way. I think we've all done that at some stage, trying to push the doors open. Why is this not happening? Well, I'll do this myself. And you just make a mess of things. So just take each day um, and go where God is calling you, okay? So he doesn't call the calls and then that's it, boom, you're there. No, he qualifies you. But you have to move. You have to move in faith. It's, um, it's just an amazing journey. And it's going to get even better. You know, even during this lockdown, there have been many who've just given up. They've walked away. They've decided that's it. Many ministries shutting down. Things that weren't of God. People leaving people. People looking at their life and reflecting. Am I going the right way? Should I be doing this? Why was I here? Why was I doing this? Why was I hanging around with these people? What was I doing there? I was wasting my time. They were wasting my time. So take this time, this precious time that God has given us and sit down with him and talk to him. Lord, lead me and guide me. Don't let me go the wrong way, Jesus. And he will fix, let him fix whatever needs to be fixed on the inside of you. Um... Then we have in Isaiah 46, 10, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my purpose shall stand and I will do all that I please. You know, God's word does not return void. When God says that something will happen to you, it will happen. It's you that has the choice. You can say, I'm not doing this. No, I don't want to do this. I give up. It's actually us who walk away from God or our calling or our destiny. So that's why every time you fall, you get up and you keep going. Never mind what the naysayers are saying. Who cares what they say? Um, in Isaiah 55, 11, So is my word that goes out of my mouth. It will not return to me void, but it will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I've sent it. 
in Proverbs 16, 3, commit your ways to the Lord, whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. In Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for good for those who love him and have been called according to his purpose. We all have a calling. God has called you for greatness, to shine with the love of God. You are an ambassador of Christ here in this earth. It can be in the ministry. It can be outside. It doesn't matter what it is. But you're doing all things to God. Not for people pleasing. Not for your own selfish gain. But it's all for God. And it's to change the world as well. It's to change the church. Who knows what you're going to be. What your child is going to be. What someone in your family is going to be. Next year. Five years from now. Who knows? But you just have to believe. But you need to drop the negativity. Chop off listening to all the negative voices. You know, you don't have to keep going to friends. You don't have to keep hanging off your pastor or people in the ministry. What I do here, what blah, blah, blah. You can do that if you want, but it's better to actually get to know Holy Spirit and spend that time in prayer and worship and meditating on the word yourself. And you know them when God is like, don't go here, apply for this, do this, come away from these people. These people are holding you back or these people are jealous of you, they're envious of you. And then he corrects us, he prunes us. You know, if you're self negative talking of you or to others or whatever it may be, let God correct that inside of you. But hidden for such a time as this, power of association of the people that are around you that you are allowing speak into your life. It's important to people who are in your life. But God is removing the wrong ones. He's shutting down all the wrong things. And he's opening the right doors. So for the great unveiling, whatever it is you have been called, your purpose here on this earth shall be established. Even my own. And I can't wait. It's going to be brilliant. But it's all for the glory of God and for his people. You know, you could be a child minder. You could be raising the next president. Who knows? You could, God could give you an idea, a great invention. You could write an amazing book, whatever it is. The next prophetic voice that will change people's lives. God speaking through them. Whatever it is, it's going to be amazing. But are you going to keep going? That's the whole point. So study yourself approved. Get ready for the shift, for the change, for the unveiling. So let go of everything else, let go of the past, let go of all that and get ready to shine and keep shining. So let's pray that this happens in Jesus name. So Father God, we thank you for this word. Father God, we thank you for the work that you're doing in our lives, in our heart, in our character, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for these many years, for the prophetic words that you have given us that will not return void, that will happen, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you are going to establish your people um, to do what you've called them to do. So, Father God, in Jesus' name, I call those people out of darkness who are supposed to be in a certain place right now or around the right people and they're not even in that place. I call them into the kingdom right now in Jesus' name. And, Father, I declare and decree for your people peace, Lord. I speak promotion, Lord, acceleration, Lord, in their business, in their finances, in their family, in their marriage, in their life, in their children, in Jesus' name. Lord, that they will fulfill their destiny, exactly what you have called them to do, Lord. Remove the scales, remove the wrong people, the deception, Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And it's all for your glory, Lord. Give your people wisdom, understanding, eyes to see, ears to hear, Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father God, we thank you. I just bless your people. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory and we give you praise. So you better be ready. You better be ready for this next season because it's going to just be, boom, let's go. And you're going to be around these amazing people, open doors, great things taking place, maybe new jobs, maybe new things happening in your life. And all of the old will be gone and you'll be like, how did I even get here? 
because it's only God. So that is why we always give him the glory and we always give him the praise. So you cannot give up. You're not allowed to give up because you were a soldier in the army of King Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Oh, seriously. God loves you so much. Okay. So you won't be hidden for too long. So be encouraged and be blessed. God bless you. Love you.